scrolling through Twitter this morning, and I see Pierre Polyev, as you know, is the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada. And Pierre is different than the other past leaders, the recent leaders, in that he's not sidestepping the gun issue. He's taking it head on. So Pierre does this video. I'm not going to play you the video or whatever, right? But he does this video where he's talking to some IPSC IPSC shooters, some competitive pistol shooters, about what it takes to get, maintain license, a license, what it, you know, what you got to do with your, how you got to safely store or transport your firearms, what, what it means to you, all that stuff, right? Like going to the source, going to someone that is a real expert on legal firearms ownership and puts that video out there. And it's great because he's like, hey, you know, the Justin Trudeau thinks these people are dangerous. Um, and, you know, he thinks that uh, repeat violent uh, criminals should have same day bail, you know, whatever, right? So this guy, check this out. This guy retweets it and says, hard to understand why at CPCHQ thinks this is a winner. Right after 33 mass shooting in USA, I don't get it. Well, I don't think, I don't think Terry gets a lot. Um, I don't think he understands much, but it's interesting because if you were to ask Terry, like, tell me what the connection between multiple victim public shootings in the United States are with licensed gun owners in Canada. Like, explain that for me. That's that. That's the propaganda breaking people, weak people, right? That 30, 40 percent of people susceptible to this kind of brainwashing, this kind of psychological manipulation. Terry, whatever his name is there. That's that's what you see coming back at you. So it's just interesting. And and the only thing I want to add to this is when you're when you're looking at the motivation, the liberals war on legal gun owners, probably for two reasons. Elites don't believe anyone should have guns but them. And the second reason is there's a political advantage to have because it's a divisive issue. When it's divisive, then it's then it's useful to them. It's urban voters versus suburban and rural voters. Right, big cities where there's tons of ridings, we're gonna grab those. So we got we need a villain, right? The fear doesn't work without a villain. So um, those are the two reasons they do that, and it doesn't work for them. It won't work unless they can make a connection to mass shootings in the U.S. and firearm ownership and licensed gun owners, firearm-related violence in Canada and licensed gun owners, because everything they're doing, they're doing to us. They're not doing anything to criminals, right? And I'll have that conversation with literally anybody in the country. So that's, it won't work unless they can connect that in the minds of people. And then sometimes you see that. You see that obviously now in the universities and you see it in some clown with a Twitter feed, right? If you don't stand up for your own ability to own and use firearms, who will? Join the CCFR or donate right now at www.firearmrights.ca.